This week we've been talking about the work of the Holy Spirit as we share our faith in Jesus Christ with others. Uh, He works not only in us, but He works through us and He touches other people. We've been talking for the last three days about the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives where we must be emptied of self and filled with God, His Spirit, to allow Him to have control of our lives. Then we must walk daily and moment by moment in His Spirit. But now, I want to talk to you about the work of the Holy Spirit in others. And today, in particular, I want to talk about how important it is for you and for me to understand that it's not by our might, nor by our power, or by our eloquence of speech that people come to Christ. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. In fact, in John chapter 6, there were many people who were following Jesus, and they quit following, following him. And why did they quit? Because they simply did not have the work of the Spirit of God in their lives. Jesus said, unless the Father draw you, you cannot come to me. And so we must understand that it is the work of of the Holy Spirit. We must trust Him to do that work. We must come and say, Lord, You do that work in the hearts of people. I can't do it. (laughs) I remember reading the story of Moses, and Moses was young and powerful, but God couldn't use him. He tried to do things in his own power, and, and, and he failed. But when he went into that Midianite desert, there he met with the Lord, and God came upon his life. And when he went back, he went back in the name and in the power of the Spirit of the living God, and he saw God do great and mighty things. So it's very important for you and for me to understand that. One of the hardest lessons I had to learn, because when I grew up, I had the ability to speak publicly. I I had that gift. And so I would go out and do all of these things. And what I discovered is that no one's life was changed. It was only when I realized that it was by His power, by His Spirit, that people were brought to Jesus, that people were changed. So I want to encourage you to just make a, a decision right now, today. Say, Lord, I can't do this, but you can. And I'm trusting in you to work in the hearts of those people that I love, that I care about, because I know you love them and you care about them more than I do. So I'm trusting in you, not in my own power, but in your power.